you know, this walk to work, to and from work every day, it's actually so peaceful. It's such a nice little walk. I am really happy that I get to walk to work. One of the things that I hated about where I lived before was that I was really dependent on buses. And you know, it wasn't just the fact that I was missing a walk, it was also all the stress. Oh, is the bus gonna show up? Is the bus not gonna show up? I guess that tells you more about the state of British public transportation than uh, where I actually live. But you know, it's nice not having to care about that. I can leave on time and know I'll get there on time. I had a really nice morning. I had a really good night of sleep. The workout was really good too. The only reason I didn't feel more is because the gym is starting to get really full these days because the term started again and all the students are going back. And, you know, on one hand, it leaves me really happy that, you know, a lot of people are going to the gym and taking care of their health and doing exercise. And on the other hand, I'm like, can you go to another gym? Can I have my gym to myself? You know, but anyway, it's around 9.30 and let's go do some research. Yesterday afternoon, I ended up going to the engineering lab to do some testing and I ended up staying there for the entire afternoon. I think I went around 2 and I left at like 5.30. I should expect that every time I go over there, I end up staying for the whole afternoon performing tests with, uh, with the actual hardware where we're deploying this thing. Prior to starting this position, I have never in my life even wired anything. Like my computer science degree was much more programming and software based. And now I have a whole setup on my desk with an Arduino that I had to wire. Again, very, very simple wiring. Because my software needs to communicate with the Arduino. And it's it's pretty cool. I feel like I'm learning a lot. I'm, I'm learning a lot about optimizations as well. We've been dealing with a lot of delays with the previous code. So I've been going and refactoring the current code to make it more efficient and quick. And I've been really enjoying that. I feel like I'm learning a lot. It's not all sunshines and roses though. I do feel like there's a lot of... Um, friction between us more software guys compared to the hardware team where I'm like can we please make all the variables follow a common standard like all uppercase camel case whatever we want to do and what they do which is okay all the variables are uppercase except for two particular ones but no for particular reason but these ones are not all uppercase and it's hard to communicate that, like, mm, can we please make it all consistent? And on the other hand, I, see, I feel so dumb looking at all the hardware that we have installed because, you know, I have no idea how electricity works. Although they're being very patient with me and whenever I ask, I'm a very curious person, I ask about everything that I can. And they're being very patient, explaining to me what each, which component is doing and why it needs to be there. I find that very kind of them. I think I have really been very lucky with the people I'm getting to work with at the moment both from the engineering team and the software team. Hello, Ramona. I can't shake the simplest feeling beyond the ghost. We stand on the opposite shore. Hello. I am soaked. So very soaked. You know, I went from some groceries, obviously. I checked the weather and it said it wasn't gonna rain. So I was like, yes, I'll trust it. I'm walking to Aldi's it starts pouring, like legit pouring. I did take a jacket, but it rained so much that it went through, so I am absolutely soaked. It's sunny now. It's, as soon as I stepped through the door, it stopped raining and it's sunny now. And I'm fuming. <laughs> and I'm fuming extra hard because when I came back from my Bible, like one week and a half ago, I lost my umbrella on the trip. And two days ago, I bought a new umbrella because I really needed an umbrella. I live in the UK. And I lost it again, yesterday. And this is like the sixth umbrella that I lose. I just keep, I have a curse. I just keep losing umbrellas. And now I could have taken that umbrella so I had not soaked, but alas.
you know, I don't think, I don't think my body really appreciated getting uh, rained on yesterday. Thankfully, I have flexibility and I can work from home, so I don't contaminate any of my co-workers. In truth, I'm sure if I asked for sick leave, I wouldn't be denied. My boss is super nice. But I've had this programming task in my head for like a week now. I'm trying to rewrite some code and try to make it uh, run faster and more efficiently. And I don't know about you guys, but whenever I'm stuck on a problem for a long time, especially coding related, I just, I really want to get it done, you know, like I'm constantly think of, thinking about it, I go to bed and I'm thinking about it, it's like I just want to get it out of my system, or at least work to get it out of my system. So yeah, I'm gonna do my best to get this done, I have my faithful, really warm coffee here to warm up my throat. Mm, delicious. It's actually decaf. It's a bit late for me. It's 10. I usually don't have coffee after 9. And if it gets really bad, I'll just take my laptop and I'll go work in bed like a true professional programmer. <laughs> Honestly, I ended up doing a lot of progress, which I wasn't really expecting, having an account that, you know, I'm kind of dead, as you can hear probably. I'm at the carrying around toilet paper wherever I go just to take the snot out of my nose at this point. It's kind of... <laughs> but yeah, I ended up doing a lot of progress. I actually rewrote everything that I wanted to, except for a small portion of, um, of a function, of a routine, and that's because, well, I just don't really understand what they were aiming for with that function. It's a bit convoluted. So whenever I get the chance to talk to them, hopefully not by email, I always understand people better if I talk in person. I'll try to ask what they were aiming for it and maybe we can uh, help each other out to implement it. Since I don't have the Raspberry Pi or the Arduino here in my desk at home, I couldn't actually run this code and make sure that it works flawless. So what that means is next time I go into the office to test this thing out in the actual hardware it's gonna run, it's gonna be full of bugs and I'm gonna have to be fixing errors for like two hours until it finally boots up and works. But you know, at least most of the work it's done. Hopefully. I think if you're a programmer or a developer of any type, you really understand what I'm saying. We spend way longer editing code and fixing bugs than actually writing new code or implementing new stuff. But you know, it's part of the job and honestly, whenever things finally do get to work after a lot of bug hunting, it's quite satisfying. And if you're not a programmer and you can't really relate to what I'm saying, who better to teach you how to program than today's sponsor, Brilliant. Brilliant is the online learning platform where you learn by doing, with thousands of online interactive lessons in STEM topics such as programming, maths, AI and data science. What I really love about Brilliant is that it trains you to be a problem solver, not merely memorizing everything. All along the way you'll get your hands dirty actually solving exercises and playing around with concepts, which I think it's the best way to learn any STEM related topic. Another great feature of Brilliant is how it encourages you to become a daily learner. Not only is it super convenient to be able to go on the app on your phone and learn a bit rather than maybe go scroll on social media but they also make it super easy and visually rewarding for you to keep track of your progress and reach daily streaks. I think this is a really neat feature my life is all about trying to make good habits stick consistently and Brilliant helps you with that on your learning journey. Since I've been programming so much lately and in this vlog I'll stick to the topic and I'll highly recommend you guys check out Brilliant's programming course on Python and don't be scared if you've never programmed 
programmed before, they'll take you right from the start and teach you all the programming basics, and slowly but surely and consistently, you'll make your way up to building more complex programs. So yeah, if all of this sounds interesting to you, visit brilliant.org slash Bruno Archangel, or you can also check out the link in the video description. You'll get a 30-day free trial to everything that Brilliant has to offer, and you'll also get a 20% off a premium annual subscription. And you know, you'll be supporting my channel so I can actually go buy tissues rather than toilet paper to clean my nose. Again, thank you very much to Brilliant for sponsoring this video, and I hope to see you guys in the next one.